Oh, all right, how's it going? You good? Yeah. <laughs> Ten people, that'll do. Come <laughs> oh, on, guys. Missed Hollyoaks for this. Let's fucking <laughs> still go. Oh, the fan of Hollyoaks. <laughs> or were you in it? You look like you might have been in it. Um, <laughs> Great. Um, it's kind of got weird. It's weird, weird here because I um I came to watch the first series here with my ex-girlfriend, right? And um I, I know I'm not gay. It's weird. And um <laughs> it's strange. We all caught it. We all caught it. I um <laughs> I, I, I tell you, everyone's always thought I was going to turn out gay. Everyone like my parents always thought I was going to turn out gay. That they're still holding on, but like <laughs> I went, I, it all started when I was about 14. I went through this weird goth stage, right? And so I used to like wear all the makeup and the eyeliner. I used to paint my nails and stuff. I don't know whether you noticed something about this face, which makes it terrible for goth styling, right? <laughs> Way too smiley. It doesn't work. It's my... uh, and we'd be like, we'd all be sat on the bench and everyone else would have their, like, their painted nails, their whole long hair, the makeup. They looked frightening. I just looked fabulous. <laughs> I looked really great. <laughs> That's nice. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Like, I, it's good to be honest, though. This is something I'm, I'm sort of discovering, right? I'm, uh, oh, I met this German man, right? Uh, who, this is his problem. Th what I love about German people is they're just beautifully honest. Like, too honest, right? Is there any Germans in? Give me a cheer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> brilliant. Good, good on you. Right. I haven't got time, to be honest. But I, um, uh, basically, I met this German person. He was brilliant. His problem was too honest, right? I was in the lift at Elephant and Castle tube station. And I just went, um, I went oh, I like your coat. And he said, I hate your shoes. Why could you be so mean? That's so weird. Because I'm not like a fighting person. It's not like I can fight him. Like, look at me. I'm not a fighting person, clearly, right? <laughs> I've, I've only ever had one fight in my entire life. Just one, right? It was in a nightclub on, on like, a dance floor, right? And just uh, this, this random man just started punching me in the eyes, right? <laughs> <And> <laughs> so I'm trying to defend myself in, like, the only way I know how. I'm just fucking... <laughs> I was doing a pretty good job at this point, right? It was pretty excellent. And then I remember a bouncer came in to save me. I remember saying to the bouncer, while still fighting this man, this man was being like, oh, what took you so long? Yeah! <laughs> the bouncer, honest to God, went, sorry, mate, I didn't think you were fighting. I thought you were dancing. <laughs> I'm not dancing. <laughs> The best fight I've ever seen in my entire life, though. This is the most incredible fight I've ever seen. It was in Cambridge. It was about three o'clock in the morning, right? I did a gig there, and there was this, there was this huge man, like this huge, huge guy, picked on this tiny, tiny, like geeky Cambridge man. <laughs> like, like, the difference in size was absolutely stupid. Like, the, uh, the, the only way I can describe it is, you know, like the the gladiators, like on on gladiators, right? <laughs> And, like, the contestants on Gladiators. Like, it looked the same difference in size. Like, the little guy looked like he'd be like, oh, my name's Brian and I'm from Bristol. Mm. Like, the big guy would be like, oh, my name's Hunter and I fuck women. <laughs> um. <laughs> but this massive guy just went to punch the tiny man in the face, right? Just went to punch him in the head. The only move that the tiny man had in retaliation was incredible. This is all he had. He just went, no! <laughs> That was all he had, right? And then because he put his no-arm out, the massive guy then had to go, like, over the no-arm to punch him in the head. So he's got this overarm motion here. And in doing the overarm motion, he dislocates his own shoulder! <laughs> this huge man! He just, like, falls on the floor. He's, like, screaming in loads of pain. He's like, ah! The little guy's looking at his hand, just like, I think I'm a superhero, did I? <laughs> And it's, and like, because he's screaming loads of pain, loads of people crowd round, right? Loads of people. This tiny man has never had so much attention in all of his life, right? There's loads of people looking at him. This huge man screaming loads of pain. So he, this is genuinely what he did, and it blew my mind, right? He's just in loads of pain, he just goes... Love that man. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> it's good. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to like. I'm, in my own little way, I'm trying to keep fit by riding a bicycle, right? And this is this is my own thing. Like, I, I love riding a bicycle. Alone. It's amazing, right? But I, I tell you, I crashed, right? This is three weeks ago. I crashed on my bicycle. And is there any bicyclists in Gibbish here? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, um, <laughs> it sounded like a bike horn, ironically, which is um, <laughs> burp. Um, I, uh, <laughs> Basically, like, I was going along Waterloo Bridge, right? And any fear for any bicyclists here, right, uh, is a parked car opening their car door, right? <laughs> and I was going along, like, properly quick, right? And, uh, like, proper fucking quicker-roo. Um... <laughs> Never said the word quicker on stage before. <laughs> Thought, well, I'm gonna fucking pick a TV appearance to start it. <laughs> um, I, um... Uh, by the way, actually, I'm going to tell you now, I've actually, uh, today, I realised that I'm actually not quick on my bicycle, right? I'll tell you for why. Don't even know if that makes sense. But I, um, basically, I, I was going along Old Kent Road near my house, and I thought I was going proper quick. I was like, yeah, I'm fucking going some, right? <laughs> this man overtook me on his bicycle, just leisurely, just like, I'm overtaking you, right? He had absolutely no hands, right? Like, on, on his handlebars, he had hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be weird. Uh, <laughs> He had no hands on his handlebars, right? In his right hand, he was holding a mobile phone. In his left hand, he was holding an eclair. <laughs> what does that mean? I have no idea. But anyway, I crashed on my bike, right? So I was going along Waterloo Bridge, and this guy opened his car door, right? And uh, he was about as far away as, as me to the guy, right? And, uh, <laughs> um, so, and uh, so I slam on my brakes. And like, instead of like, so I lock my wheels and I go, and instead of like hitting it at full speed and flying over the door, because I slam on the brakes, I kind of hit it at a slow speed, fall into the man's lap. <laughs> <laughs> it was so weird. It was the weirdest thing between two men ever. He called me like Patrick Swayze. He was just like, hey. <laughs> And, like, these are the two words that he chose to first say to me, right? I haven't heard these two words together since I was nine years old, right? He called me and just went, nice skid. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> and so I kind of got up straight away. I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean sorry, sorry. Got straight back on my bike. And everybody... But he just gave me a compliment, so I felt like I needed to give him a compliment back. So before I rode away, I said, comfy lap. <laughs> 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 Uh, I, uh, I, 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 to tell you about my flatmate, he's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I, I, they, he came out with this phrase uh, uh, recently. He went on a date, right, and he didn't come back. So uh, I asked him all the obvious question of like, oh, so did you, did you have sex, right? Um, and he said back, he was like, oh, no, no, didn't have sex. No, 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 but, um, but we, uh, we did everything but. <laughs> <laughs> the creepiest phrase ever. <laughs> It's not the creepiest phrase, because to me, it doesn't even say anything. It's so weirdly nondescript. It's like everything but. It's just like, oh, did you have sex? No, 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 no. But uh, we went rock climbing. <laughs> Pretty sexual. Well, really weird, right? And, uh, you seem like a sophisticated bunch, right? I've, I've been trying recently to be more sophisticated. And so I, I thought I'm going to go watch a play, right? I thought I'm going to go watch a play. <laughs> oh, like sophisticated and go see a sophisticated, cultured play. So I thought, I'm going to go watch The Lion King, right? <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't even get to watch it, though, because this man came up to me in the street with, in Covent Garden, right, with a flyer, right? He's comes up to me, and he's just, like, proper serious. He just goes, um... Come and see this one-man play. <laughs> it's cutting-edge theatre. And it's free. <laughs> that is everything I could ever want from an entertainment experience. Right? I'm going to go to this. It's going to be incredible, right? I call up my flatmate. I'm like, mate, We've got to go to this play, it's going to be amazing. He's like, wicked, Joel, I'll meet you there. I'm like, perfect, right? And I asked the guy, I'm like, oh, what's it going to be like? I'm like, oh, that's a serious man, what's it going to be like? He goes, absolutely quote, he goes, um, uh, it's kind of like Billy Elliot. <laughs> but edgier. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be amazing, right? So I go there right away. I go there, right? And I think there's going to be loads of people in there. It's going to be packed out. I get there. There's just one other person there, right? This lovely old lady who looks like she's been there for 48 years, right? <laughs> and no, my flatmate fails to turn up, right? So it's just me and her. And then, like, this man comes out of the curtain and embarks upon this long, serious play by himself, right? The same man that gave me the flyer as well. <laughs> Always a bad sign, right? <laughs> just come straight out of the curtain, just come straight out, just like, oh. 
Monologue. <laughs> monologue, 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 monologue. Mm, mm, monologue. <laughs> monologue, 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 monologue. I'm paraphrasing, but like, <laughs> you get the idea. After about 27 minutes of this, I'm sat there like, like, how is this cutting edge theater? This is terrible, right? 27 minutes in, he then does what he quite clearly thinks in his brain is cutting edge, and he starts to remove his clothing. <laughs> He's then like completely naked right in front of me in this tiny theater, just like monologue. <laughs> monologue, 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 monologue. Sat there like, can I, can I, how the fuck is this like Billy Elliot? <laughs> monologue, monologue. I, I think, oh, this can't get any worse. This is terrible. This can't get any worse. At this point, he goes behind the curtain, gets a full bottle of red wine, right? And then he starts to pour the entire bottle over his sweaty, naked actor body. <laughs> yeah, my point is like, oh, 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 monologue, <laughs> monologue, monologue, monologue. At that point, I'm like, ah, oh. <laughs> should have seen The Lion King. <laughs> I genuinely, I, I wouldn't have minded. I wouldn't have minded if just, if when he gave me that flyer in Covent Garden, if he was just honest with me, do you know what I mean? If he just gave me the flyer, he was just like, hey, oh, oh, in 33 minutes time, my penis is gonna be a foot away from your face. <laughs> I'll be dancing in front of you with red wine all over my body. About 37 minutes in, I'm gonna flick my hips. <laughs> And a bit of red wine is gonna come off the tip of my penis! <laughs> Into your surprised mouth! <laughs> I wouldn't have believed him, but I'm saying I wouldn't have believed him. It's absolutely happening. And at this, at this point, the woman beside me, the only other person in there, she then gets up and leaves. <laughs> She's like, I've had enough of this, I'm going. I'm like, I really want to go with you, like, really badly. Like, then I look at this man, like, stood there with, like, like just his socks on. I'm like, I can't leave. Like, he's chasing his dream, bless him. <laughs> It's a fucked up dream, but it's, it's a dream nonetheless, right? So, so I stay, basically, I stay. I made the decision, I'm, I'm gonna stay. So I sit, I sit down, but then I realise, as soon as she is gone, it is now just me and him. <laughs> and it's gone from, like, awful play to, like, awkward lap dance. <laughs> And at this point, I think it's definitely cannot get any worse at this point. It's absolutely cannot get any At that point, my flatmate then walks in! <laughs> I'm sat there like, oh, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> this naked man in front of me with red wine all over his body. My flatmate just walks in, just like, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hour and 40 minutes that play was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh. I left afterwards, my flatmate was just sat there, just waiting for me. He was just sat there waiting, and I was like, like, you've been waiting here the entire time. Like, you've been waiting for an hour. Why don't you just, like, like come in, man? I needed you. And he looks over, he's like, oh, sorry, mate, I thought you were gonna have sex or something. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> We pretty much did everything, but. Yes. Thanks very much. Uh, if, if any of you are on Twitter, then um, uh, follow my mum. She's hilarious. <laughs> uh, she's fucking brilliant. Uh, I've been John Dormer. Have a nice evening. Take care. Bye. <laughs>